The next story uh, that I want to talk about is uh, ranked choice voting in Massachusetts. There, there was a, a, a citizen initiative to uh, have ranked choice voting in Massachusetts. Um, and I believe it's not going to be a ballot initiative in Massachusetts uh, in November, which is good. Should be a ballot initiative. We, we need more ranked choice voting. Um, I think that is a much better way of running a system. It's more accurate, less voter disenfranchisement. Um, and I've, I've talked at length about ranked choice voting uh, several different times, including I did a, a road reflection series back in March, about uh, March or April about that. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with what it is, if you don't want to dig through my older videos to try to find uh, the hour and a half that I spent talking about ranked choice voting and uh, where it comes from and how it works and all that kind of stuff. Or, or if you don't want to go to the one I did a couple months ago uh, about it, um, ranked choice voting is basically you get to, exactly what it sounds like, you get to rank the candidates, uh, you know, based on your preference. One, two, three, four, whatever. How many ever candidates there are. And... You know, they do a round of counts, and the last per, la, the, the candidate with the least amount of votes will get knocked off, and it goes to your second vote, and then the votes get redistributed based on your second vote. Um, so it's not as hard as people think it is. Probably a little bit longer of a process, which is fine because this is voting. So, you know, if, if it takes a little bit longer to get an accurate count, then yes, good. Let's be accurate about it. Let's do the job properly. Now, all this, all this is sparked by uh the the victory uh in Massachusetts of the centrist democrat the former republican which like most fucking centrist democrats were republicans you know like elizabeth warren is is kind of a centrist democrat and she was a republican like i feel like centrist democrats are just like republicans that like gay people you know they're just like yeah the gays are fine but i think healthcare isn't a right I don't think Medicare for all is really going to work. But gay people are cool. You guys, right? Gay, we're good? I got a rainbow pin. I, I'll even put a Black Lives Matter pin on. But, what, but I mean, if you need to go to the hospital and you can't get access to health care, then, you know, Black Lives Matter when you can pay for it. You have the access to pay for it. That's, that's, that's Cetris Democrats. These former Republicans to centrist Democrats. But this uh, centrist Democrat, former Republican, Jake... i got to read my handwriting here. can't remember his name exactly. Uh, Auchinloss, I believe. Auch if I'm mispronouncing that, I'm, I am sorry. Uh, but he, he won the con 4th Congressional District in, in Massachusetts. And he was up against Joe Kennedy... And, uh, and there was a progressive uh, uh, as well on the ballot. And Auchincloss Ock won. Uh, again, this guy is like, he doesn't really stand for what the people stand for. And he, and he won at 23%. Uh, he, that, that's what he got. He got 23% of the votes and, uh, and he won. Uh, meanwhile, the progressive on the, on the ballot uh, won Jess Mermo. Uh, got 21% of the votes, 21.1% of the votes. Uh, you know, and she she stepped down. She was like, I think I'm going to end the race. But she was like, I have concerns about the votes. I, I have concerns about the way the votes were counted, the election system, which, you know, yeah. When you're going up against anyone that is, that's anything re related to, the Democrats and the DNC, you, yeah, you should be. I mean, you should be concerned if the Republicans are doing it too because the Republicans fuck with that sort of shit as well. And, you know, she 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 stepped down and there's a centrist in place and, of course, 
uh, all the all the staunch Democrats were like, oh, well, you know, we could have had someone a little bit more to the left had she not run. Had she not run, maybe the, the slightly left candidate would have won, despite the fact that she got second place. She got 21% of the votes to, to 23 to the person that won. Uh, so they call her the spoiler. That's uh, that's where the shit's going. Like we we call third, but you know the society calls third parties a spoiler, which is not an ideology I really uh, believe in. I, I I think that's wrong. I don't think third parties are spoilers. I think third parties are necessary. Uh, and uh, and I think the larger point of it that that people miss is the amount of people that voted for a third party. The amount of people that voted for a progressive really speaks to speaks volumes to the fact that um, you know you 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 have a, a a bunch of people that said uh hey we don't want these two candidates we don't want the centrist and we don't want slightly left we don't want the slightly left neoliberal what we want is a fucking progressive what we want is the green party what we want is the libertarians if you get ranked choice voting, you get rid of that argument. You get rid of the spoiler because a ranked choice vote would, would get you a true majority uh, in, in a true democracy, too. Uh, by, by, by which I mean you have... You, you don't lock people into one thing or the other. If you're not a Democrat, you must be a Republican. If you're not a Republican, you must be... No, I don't bind either of those parties and there's a lot of people that don't most of the country is independent that's how they see themselves so to say that you have to be locked into one or the other is just ludicrous doesn't make any fucking sense all that all that should tell people is um, hey we didn't want these corporate candidates. We wanted somebody that believes in things that we believe in. We would like to vote with our belief system, so we're going to vote for the candidate that lines up with that, that has earned our votes. Ranked choice voting would eliminate that spoiler argument. It would give you the option of saying, this person lines up with my vote 100%. This person lines up with my vote about 80%. This one about fifty percent, and then these bottom two, you know, I'm at I'm at under twenty percent in agreement with them. It's also an accurate pulse of the country too with rank choice voting, and it gets you to a true majority. It also gets rid of uh, the the. The ugly competition of politics, right? Uh, the, the negative ad campaigns. Look at the shit that we're seeing on Twitter with, with Biden and Trump. It's like two fucking octogenarians having a playground fight on Twitter. All they do is shit on each other. All they do is shit on each other. We talk about Trump inciting violence, and he does, and he has... But so is Joe Biden. Like, there's clips of Joe Biden saying that he wants to punch Trump in the face. How is that not inciting violence? How is not? How is that not encouraging your your voter base to get violent against somebody that voted for Trump? And there are all these ads, these fucking political ads, right? I I, I have a little bit of a side job now and take care of this. Uh, uh, elderly lady and stuff, and you know, I I watch the the evening news. I, I I don't watch the evening news unless I'm there, right? That's what she likes to watch. That's what we watch. And I mean, it's like every fucking commercial break, there is a political com- a, a campaign ad, and they're all attack ads, you know, and, and they're all lies. They're all lies. Like the Trump ones are like, Joe Biden wants to get rid of the police. He wants to defund the police. And he's cool with you getting killed in a parking lot. And leaving your children orphaned. And then setting fire to those orphanages because fuck orphans and fuck the police. And it's like, no, Joe Biden wants to give more money to the police. 
He's come out and said that. He's like, I don't want to defund the police. I want to give them more money so that they can get help doing what they need to do. Which is like, yeah, so you want to help them kill more minorities? You, you want to help them get away with murder? Why do you need a tank in Dothan, Alabama? You don't. Give the tanks to the schools. <laughs> kidding. Schools don't need tanks either. Fund the police just means let's let's get our let, let, let's put our money into our communities in places that we need it. So if your if your school is not doing too well, then let's pump up the education system. Let's you know let's put money into a community garden where people can grow vegetables and share that with their community. Let's let's uh, let's pump it into the agricultural district so that you know instead of uh, wasting food, we can give it to people that need it. Let's take care of each other. Rank choice voting would decrease that sort of ugliness, these sort of lies that happen. The uh, In Maine they have it, and the two progressive candidates in Maine uh, got together and did a campaign commercial together where they're basically like, yeah, you know, progressivism is on the ballot twice. Um, and whoever gets in will will support the the winner. So you can choose, you know, vote one for me and two for him, or two for him and one for me, or, or one for him and two for me. Or, and and you know, like you'll you'll be assured that you have a progressive uh, that that becomes a mayor or governor. Governor, I believe it was the governor. And ranked choice voting would would make these candidates talk outside their fucking voter base. Holy shit, could you imagine? And that's scary because what you'll end up finding out is that conservatives, liberals, progressives, all these people, their big concern is probably, probably comes down to class warfare, right? Like they are part of the working class and they feel like the working class is not being treated well. That the upper 1% is getting... Uh, a lot more breaks than the working class is. So, if they find that out and the Democrats are like, eh, we don't really want to go for like a better minimum wage or we don't really want to go for a universal health care, that means that they're probably going to move down the list to like three or four. So the states that have this ballot initiative coming up for ranked choice voting, we got Massachusetts, Alaska, California, Colorado, and Minnesota. These are all going to have uh, ranked choice voting ballot initiatives. So if ranked choice voting is something that is important to you, keep an eye out on that ballot initiative uh, and vote for it. Vote for ranked choice voting. Tell these people that that's what you want, that this, this duopoly, this broken election system isn't going to be something that we stand for. Isn't going to be something that we're going to just take lying down, uh, and we're not going to we're not going to fucking deal with your bullshit anymore. I, I wish Pennsylvania would do it too. I really do. But Pennsylvania is a pretty uh, neoliberal state, and a and a kind of a red state. What is that? A bunch of counties sue the fucking governor. Um, over over limiting people in restaurants and and the lockdown orders and and like a judge claimed it was unconstitutional. We're in the middle of a fucking pandemic, people. You shouldn't be going to restaurants all the time. You don't need like, and even if you are, you don't need to go out, right? Like, let's say you go out on a Saturday night. Great. There's other people that can't go out on Saturday nights because of the work or kids or whatever. But if it's like a, you know, a little restaurant in your neighborhood, and again, this would encourage you to like be more communal, right? Be, be, be able to talk to your neighbors and shit. But like, oh yeah, are you going to Joe's Crab Shack or whatever? You know, uh, are, you, are, you go, are you going to Big Mama's Burger Joint? Oh, you know what? You guys are going there on Saturday? Oh, cool. You know what? We'll go there on Sunday. Then you order takeout from other places. 
support your businesses that way if you can, but a lot of people can't. So, you know, instead of actually like helping out these businesses, we do these lockdown measures that expect them to still stay afloat. Like it's, it's very nonsensical. So part of me is like, I don't want to blame these people because it's, they're desperate for something because the American government hasn't provided the people, provided small businesses with any sort of help or anything. So part of me is like, oh, I get, I get why you had to do this, but this is so stupid. Like, why couldn't you, why couldn't you get out there and push for a, for, for like better small business loans? Better help for small businesses. A UBI. You could have, you could have done so much more than this, this bullshit that's, that's now going to make this pandemic a lot worse this weird like red neoliberal state that we have here and I, and I really wish they would go for more progressive ideas like ranked choice voting hey what's up everybody thank you so much for tuning into this video if you enjoyed this content please make sure you like it please make sure you share it and please make sure you are subscribed to this channel whether you're watching this on the YouTubes whether you're watching this on Facebook or uh, or Rockfin, which is the cryptocurrency blockchain platform. It's ad-free and make sure that content creators get paid for the content that they want to make. It's completely uncensored. Whether you're on any of these channels, make sure that you are subscribed and following me for uh, all new video updates. There are uh, videos uh, put up on this channel on a weekly basis, anywhere from four to six videos every single week. Uh, they include uh, news commentary. They include sociopolitical com comedy commentary, uh, rants, uh, current event stuff, interviews, stand-up comedy clips. There's a ton of stuff that's available on this channel. Uh, and if you want to come see one of my live virtual stand-up comedy shows called The Citizen Revolution Live Virtual Stand-Up Comedy Show, you can grab tickets directly off my website at krishmohanhaha.com. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. Uh, while you're there, you can also become a sustaining member to get free tickets to these shows uh, uh, and a bunch of cool other uh, bonus stand-up comedy clips uh, while you're at it. And... Uh, you or you can make a one-time donation as well uh, if if that is something that that you would like to do. If the sustaining membership is something that you can do, I know we're in tough times right now, uh, but if you can, that'd be awesome. If not, that's cool too. But the big thing to do is make sure that you are liking it, you are sharing this, and you are subscribed to the channel. Till next time, thank you so much, and we'll see you on the road.